city as old as Sacramento is bound to have a few places where otherworldly residents reside. But some of those places aren't the first that come to mind. So settle back as Good Day's Marianne McClary takes a look at a few of Sacramento's haunted hotspots. The costume design room at the nearly 75-year-old Sacramento Theater Company has plenty of human activity, but apparently can be quite busy when no one is here. You'd expect that, though, from a place that has a ghost highway. Now, what kinds of things have happened here? Um, well, in the costume shop in general, there's been just some general mischief, uh, sometimes spools of thread fly across the room, um, dress forms move around. And the sounds of sewing machines running with no one there. Several spirits show up at STC, a pair of ill-fated lovers, Joan the seamstress, the tall man, and the most famous ghost, Pinky. Every once in a while, when we do see photos of a, of a blurb or, a, or something, it has a pink hue. That could be who's in the background of this selfie of a costumed witch in a recent production. It wasn't there when she took the picture. Is there any spirits here that would like to talk to us? You can use this device to speak. We brought along local ghost hunter Tammy Petty to see what she could find. So I'm moving, but the one that's in the black here, that's not me, because you can see my hand. So supposedly that is a ghost. Are spirits scaring away the staff? Nope, just the opposite. I wouldn't trust a theater that wasn't haunted. For late night fries and fiends, check out the Burger King on Stockton Boulevard near Florin Road. The story goes that long ago, someone killed the manager, then himself. And now, disembodied screams and ghostly gunfire are sometimes heard long after closing. <laughs> And for those of you who like to frequent this stretch of Highway 50 called the WX, this intersection around 15th and W is supposed to be a haunted hotspot. Let's just say if you have a thing for picking up hitchhikers, you might want to take a good look before you stop the car. As the legend goes, back in the 70s, a woman was hitchhiking around here when she was murdered. Drivers have reported seeing a female silhouette near the exit thumbing for a ride. <laughs> Near Sac State, Paradise Beach may not be a happy hereafter for at least one restless spirit. Visitors have reported seeing the ghost of a man said to have drowned there walking along the shoreline. <laughs> Well-known Sacramentans are part of these legends, too. My granddad built this in 1940. Yeah, it's been, been in the family ever since. The story goes that Rob's granddad, Pops Kurth, still roams Iceland skating rink during those legendary foggy Sacramento nights. What they would see is a swirl in the fog that would move along. You know, like somebody was walking down the side of the rink in the swirl and then would stop and the swirl would all go away. And then pretty soon the swirl would start up again and move out the front. <laughs> It might be great granddad, I'm not <laughs> sure. We brought back ghost hunter Tammy Petty to check it out with mixed results. But I did map a little figure following you when you walked into the ice rink. Yeah? Yeah, there was a figure right behind you and it just followed you in. So, yeah, that was kind of neat. Does Pops Kurth haunt Iceland? There's only one way to find out. We open Halloween. Come by, check for yourself. <laughs> Halloween night. Good job putting that together, Marianne. <laughs> um, so about four or five Halloweens ago, I was live at a haunted house in Sacramento County, walking downstairs, and I felt something brush up against my leg. And the person was like, oh, that's our cat who died several years ago. Great. True. Oh. Seriously. I had to finish the live shot shaking. <laughs> no doubt. Anyway, thanks to hauntedrooms.com <laughs> for some of their suggestions to Marianne. And for a list of 10 haunted hikes in Northern California, click show info on gooddaysacramento.com.